after about 10 minutes, you talk to him, you're like, he's probably like the nicest guy in the world. Yeah, right? I was going to say that. Um, the, 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 I think people, like for me anyway, I'd, I'd always been told, oh, you know, he's got a bit of an ego. He was on Love Island. Well, I met the guy at an all-star show and I couldn't have met anybody more humble. Um, no so ego. So down to earth. So, yeah, no ego. Wanting to learn, oh, wanting wanted some like feedback i mean this guy was nothing like what you would imagine and so well spoken i think so yeah just go to show you that never yeah don't judge a book Uh, i mean i was same. i looked at him as like oh this guy's gonna be fucking like full of himself (laughs) he's not in any way shape or form he's not no so so down to earth so humble looks an absolute million dollars Mm -hmm. has progressed as quick as as anyone i've ever seen live mm-hmm. um, yeah. you know you see this on tv but anyone that i've been around he him and a, a couple of others are just progressing at an alarming rate he's mm-hmm. one of them mm-hmm. uh, you know and he's he's should be everywhere he should be on every yeah. show in the yeah. uk everyone mm-hmm. should be building things around him similar to nathan cruz people mm-hmm. should be building their promotions around nathan cruz adam mm-hmm. max did if you watch them two wrestle especially you know you can go back and watch them world of sport stuff mm-hmm. maybe not uh they had a good ladder match actually on tv but mm-hmm. they'd done some stuff on tour i was lucky enough to work the tour yeah and <sighs> unbelievable honestly i was just yeah. like I, i'm a ringside like what the heck they're, they're just brilliant <laughs> and they should people yeah. should be building things on them too they're just mm-hmm. phenomenal lucas still i mean yeah. if lucas still isn't signed by the wwe AEW, in new japan anybody in the next year or four years, there's some real problem. I mean, I know he's out. He's, we're lucky enough he's with all Japan now. Um, mm-hmm. We're just phenomenal. I'm so, so happy with that and so proud that, you mm-hmm. know, the all Japan sort of staff came over and I sort of said to them, please keep an eye on Lucas and Rampage. Mm-hmm. There were two people I said to them when they came mm-hmm. over because we had a couple of the all Japan guys on the wrestling show. I'm so sure. happy that when I'm told that he's. He was going out there, and he went out there in Jan- mm-hmm. the January four, and then he was due to go back, but obviously coronavirus stopped that. Mm-hmm. Lucas oh, yeah. is someone again. If you're if you're building a new promotion, or if you're just you have a promotion, and you're looking for new things, like Lucas is the one to mm-hmm. build you build something around. Mm-hmm. He's just unbelievable, and I I met him on the on sort of the first WrestleGate show, and again you kind of look at him and you think he's going to have an ego. He's, he's you know. <laughs> not at all he's just a really mm-hmm. nice man to yeah, yeah. Add. loves the same things i love loves the nfl mm-hmm. loves wrestling um loves performing and it's just he's got it he's got everything and he's it's brilliant mm-hmm. um i mean i could keep going on and on i don't know how long you want me to yeah, keep going on about you get, you there's, there's all the, the promoters a good oh, scouting shortlist now i i regularly i try to go to as many shows as i can Mm-hmm. There might be one or two people I'm watching on a show that I want to keep an eye on. Like there's two, there's a tag team, the Bone Brothers. While mm-hmm. they're not in any way sort of polished, they're not finished circles, they're not. But they've got it. Whatever mm-hmm. it is defined, they have it. They look great. Mm-hmm. They perform well together. There's a few things that they they probably will need to work on, and they 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 know mm-hmm. that, and they they they're trying to do that in their training sense. But there is, if you're looking for like the next tag team. Mm-hmm. in Brit wrestling or European wrestling yep. them mm-hmm. for it it's going to be mm-hmm. fantastic I'm looking to hopefully try and help them with a few sort of seminars and get them on some with some other experienced people uh, you know uh, Mike uh, Mike Bird is mm-hmm. great you know he's working really well with them and it's nice to try and get them into all different places because it's good to learn all around sure. but them too they're fantastic mm-hmm. um, I think Corey McRae as well as someone that has it he doesn't know mm-hmm. wrestling. He's never what he doesn't follow it. He doesn't mm-hmm. uh, didn't grow up watching it. He's an MMA guy, right. but mm-hmm. in the era that we're in now, with you know that sort of strong style and this and that, yeah, sort of legit. Yeah. He kind nice of gets crossover. it, mm-hmm. and he he's very uh, he's the only. And I don't like to give anyone feedback, and I try not to. I I think that me going up to Adam Maxted or whoever. And, and mm-hmm. they come and ask for feedback. My feedback only is on how you made me feel as a fan watching it, how mm-hmm. you look, how you present mm-hmm. yourself, because I'm a very visual person. I don't feel like I can give someone feedback of working in a wrestling ring, because I've never done it myself. Yeah, yeah of course. For, 
piss take. So mm-hmm. it's the only place I've ever given a couple of little things to that I know that mm-hmm. would help him. And he's mm-hmm. uh, someone I'm quite keen on. Um, probably missed a load of people that have really. You'll get messages now. <laughs> Um, yeah maybe uh, I think Ricky Knight Jr uh, again I think he was I'm, I'm pleased he's now on sort of Rev Pro shows regularly mm-hmm. I think that's yeah. you know because of the, the Southside connection mm-hmm. um, I'd like to see him more places um, I worked a show with him when he was wrestling Nick, Nick Aldis for the NWA title yeah. in Notch and that mm-hmm. was great yeah. and Nick really really put him over and really helped mm-hmm. him and Mm-hmm. They did sort of a dusty finish where it was like Ricky actually won the belt, but it actually Nick had his foot on the ropes, and right, you know okay. it was really a nicely told yeah, yeah. story. Mm-hmm. I think Ricky has a lot. He's he's looked like he's put on a few pounds as well and muscle, mm-hmm. so he's great. And then he's got just a a lineage of people in wrestling behind him. You know his dad, mm-hmm. his granddad's aunties, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know so many people. Um, I think he's someone keen on. Um, I think Malik down at the London School of Lucha Libre mm-hmm. he, uh, I don't think he's wrestling enough places either I think again in this sort of strong style sort of era that we're kind of in and everyone mm-hmm. wants that type of hitting you know nobody is doing it better than him and he's got he can do some mm-hmm. higher risk stuff and he's good technically he's kind of just got everything and I think if you put a suit on him he could be you know sort of a raw sort of figure that kind of yeah. is that bad Mm-hmm. He's he's great too, and uh, Callum Newman. I watched Callum yeah. when he was 14. I worked on a show. I think it was about 13, 14, mm-hmm. and uh, he was flying around the ring. I was like, Jesus Christ, is this kid? <laughs> now he's 17, and he's mm-hmm. he could be anywhere either. So there's just there's so many, and there's you know Spike Trevay and Danny Duggan and uh, yeah, there's there, uh, there's never been a time where we've had as much talent as there is now, like in my time anyway in the UK scene. So it's hard it's to keep cool. up with everybody. I mean, it's a shame. We, it's a shame. Will Ospreay, Zack Saber Jr., mm-hmm. and you know, uh, uh, Tyler Bate and Pete mm-hmm. Dunne, and all that lot went off to pastures. You know, fantastic. Good on you guys. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. But that isn't the end of. Yeah. British rapping, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I immediately I've forgotten someone. Car and Awa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Like, fucking hell. How good is he? Yeah. Again, worked on a show with him as Tom Dawkins as a black mm-hmm. belt karate guy. I thought, what yeah. the fuck is this? <laughs> Lovely bloke. Loved yeah. it. Thought it was the yeah. person to be around. Just again, a bit like G Man. I was like, I don't really get this. Like, mm-hmm. it's a black belt. I don't really get it. Mm-hmm. Boy, did I, was I wrong when he then put that gimmick on. That's incredible. He was just <laughs> fantastic. I mean, it shows something when he goes to the WXW for the first time and they put their main sort of trophy on him. Mm-hmm. And then he's. I think he's progress champion as well. And yeah. Believable. Like he's, yeah, yeah. he's on a different level. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, he's someone that can lead like this newer sort of generation, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's just, it's a great time. And there's so many promotions around there. Like every month, it feels like there's a new one being created and there's more mm-hmm. places for people to work and more places for people to develop their mm-hmm. skills and try things and mm-hmm. you know there's trainers seminars everywhere rampage brand is a phenomenal one that everybody should try and get on it's mm-hmm. relatively cheap and expensive but you're training with probably the best wrestler in europe mm-hmm. you know you know adam is regularly on those so that shows yep. uh you know there's so many you know if you're just starting out or you're thinking oh, i'm a bit of plateauing a little bit you know this hustle that um Sid Scala runs. Mm-hmm. There's uh, London School Lucha Libre. Obviously, we've we'll lost break come through. Greg Burridge, Gary Van der mm-hmm. they're, they're phenomenal. They actually, some of them, I might sort of head down once this is over. I might sort of do a little bit of maybe refereeing stuff. Mm-hmm. So, there's someone I've approached about. But yeah. there's just so much around. There's so many schools, there's so many wrestlers, so many promotions that if everybody sticks together, everybody helps each other, mm-hmm. it can only be a good thing, right? It can only. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Everyone can only get better. And then that next wave of talent might be signed, might mm-hmm. go into Japan, America. You never know. World of Sport might come back or some other big, huge company might come here mm-hmm. and set up, set up shop here and mm-hmm. take a next wave. And then the next look will come through. Yeah. It's just like football, you know? Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. The best player in the world. Mm-hmm. But in 
10 years time there'll probably be another guy there yeah everyone's going oh it's phenomenal i've never seen anything like it maybe not to his standard mm -hmm. but there's always going to be that next person there's always going to be someone else that you can mm -hmm. build yeah. around you, gotta, yeah. you just gotta find them and see them and i like to try and go to places you know i go to dna go to bent down to see uh mike bird and his Mm -hmm. training school they had a sort of a training uh show mm -hmm. which is really good it's in a it's in a gym like a mm -hmm. gymnasium uh, mm -hmm. weights all around and it was, that was great i tried to try to go to as many places i'd like to go out to germany and see some people out there and italy i've been out to and planning on going to spain and sure. just seeing different people different cultures and learning mm -hmm. about, about what we have you know and what's available to us all because with uh, the Brexit as well, I don't know how easy it's going to be to to get a lot of these sort of mm -hmm. yeah, overseas talent the... in. Mm -hmm. It'll be expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that uh, well, it hasn't really haven't really had to think about that, I guess, just too much. But that will be something, I guess, that will come up once this is yeah, done with. I mean, um... Yeah, it's it's relatively expensive to mm -hmm. to bring the people in anyway because mm -hmm. of flights and yeah. etc. But you now got a visa cost on top, and they're not yeah, cheap. Of so. Yeah, Yeah. And normally visas are for a week. It's very unlikely that you can go have a visa for like one, one or two days. So yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, they're expensive. So again, it's adding to the cost of the promoter and the promotion that they need to try and claim back. And it could be difficult. There might be, there may be some way to prevent that. I don't know. Yeah, I guess this. Uh, it might have to come down to promotions working with each other and kind of sharing the one talent. Um, yeah. For that it does, many days, it does you know. A lot. I mean, a lot of promotions do do that. With you know, there is a a couple of sort of groups that we're all in. Uh, yeah. A couple where, you know, you'd go, you might get a, a message on there saying, "Oh, X X is in the country from this date to this date. Does anybody mm -hmm. want in?" And kind of split mm -hmm. the cost mm -hmm. that. But you know, some sometimes it might be a promotion. We'll see, like, well, that kind of if if the fans can see x in london they're not going to travel mm -hmm. to milton Keynes yeah, or london or liverpool come watch them god mm -hmm. want, they'll have that event it was just how it works for individuals really yeah no no you're right um and you know uh just to finish up when you're saying all those names i kept I, as, every time I see these two, Johnny Storm and Jody Flash, I'm like, how are they still doing this stuff? Um, it just amazes me because they've Jody's literally. Been on up, oh man, it's just Jody's he, been he's a probably five of them. I think he's been on four of them now. And yeah, uh, he's a freak of nature. That guy, he's looking so amazing uh, at the moment as well. Um, yeah, he looks incredible. Still performs at that sort of high, high he level. He shouldn't be able to. <laughs> No, if there's, you I mean, know, you know, you see, day, my, my hips were hurting and my back was hurting, and I'm 34 yeah. and I'm you know, I don't <laughs> hear stuff. But you, you, working with him is a pleasure. It absolutely yeah, it is. It's really, and you, it, when you grew up in sort of 2000s watching Ring of Honor and like Jodie Flash is on it, and now mm -hmm. in 20s wrestling for a promotion that you created, mm -hmm. um, it's pretty surreal. And then you sort of sit and talk to him, and he's just he's a nice guy, just loves wrestling, loves performing. Willing yeah. to do anything backstage. Yeah, you don't, no, he's, he's very down he's to someone where you try to control or anything. You kind of give him the kind of goes and he does his thing. But you know, if he, if he loses, he's yeah, cool. And he's still put on that top performance to put that person over. If he wins, he's mm -hmm. still going to put the same level in. He's just yeah, a bit of a freak. Johnny's the same. Mm -hmm. You know, Johnny's they're both exactly the same. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, well, thank you very much for coming on, my friend. It's been uh, good chatting to you and uh, catching up with all the all the stuff. Um, just so my listeners can find you out, where's all your social medias? Uh, best one's probably uh, Twitter at Gary R Ward. Uh, Instagram's the same, but unless you want to look mm -hmm. at my ugly face and selfies, and <laughs> probably not with you. I don't know why I do it. Sometimes just make you feel nice. Uh, <laughs> Facebook. My Facebook's actually at its limit. Um, can't actually accept anymore. Right there you go. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to kind of edge away a little bit now from mm -hmm. sort of Facebook, trying to potentially keep that for sort of close friends and family sure. and just have much with this sort of wrestling mm -hmm. content. Mm -hmm. um, anyone wants to follow on there, it's great. I'm quite happy to interact and talk about mm -hmm. wrestling in general. Uh, you know, 
anything yeah. on there, wrestling, football, NFL, uh, 